David Owen. David Owen. Here we are. Sir, you're David Owen. You have three minutes, sir, starting now. Wow, what an act to follow. Um, one of the first things I'm going to say is a thank you to, I've heard virtually everybody present over the day, and uh, this has been a tremendous exercise in democracy, and I'm totally intimidated and thrilled with what's happened here today. Anyways, I come to you as a, a veteran high school teacher of 34 years in the public school system in uh, Toronto. Uh, like uh, Mayor Ford, I uh, coached football and was even uh, fortunate enough to win the uh, Metro Bowl in uh, 19... On. Yes. On. Good old McDonald Collegiate. Good for you. Three I, cheers, right? That's a real honor. I have to... Right. But that's where the uh, similarities end, right? <laughs> That's Sorry okay. about that, Mr. No, that's Ford. okay. Winning a Metro Bowl is uh, <laughs> that, that's the best. So no, it is. Carry on. Sorry about that. Um, and I'll what, give you a couple of minutes. Yeah, you give me a, a few extra more, right? Winning now, Metro Bowl. You're, you're going to have to bear with me that's because okay. I'm a high school teacher who experienced the joys of working under the inestimable whatever Mike Harass, right? Mike Harris, the seven years which were absolutely living hell. And he took a peculiar interest in going after teachers, teacher unions, and the whole education system itself. Uh, he was, we didn't know it at the time, we had to have uh, Naomi Klein's book come out. Uh, he was a shock politician. Uh, you know, anything, he deregulated, uh, you know, uh, cut social services, uh, privatized, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and um, sad to say, uh, I went ballistic when I—I I don't know—I read something a couple of days ago about us getting rid of or cutting the Toronto Public Libraries. Do people not know that these things are precious institutions that originated in 19th-century uh, industrial England? And I can remember as a kid, just absolutely uh, Donald Peep going to the public library. I mean, this is absolute heresy. And I'm sad to say that we are in the presence here of what is a, a shock, shock uh, politician uh, administration. Sad to say it has all the earmarks. Develop, develop a deficit, grow the deficit, make it bigger and bigger by you know, cutting the, uh, cutting the tax, giving the police a lot of money without any of the bargaining, et cetera, et cetera. And um, we're, we're in for a rough time. Needless to say, with that as an introduction, I'm absolutely against any cuts whatsoever. Thank you, sir. End of story. <laughs> Councillor Doucette, one minute. Hi, good evening. Thank you for oh, good morning. Thank you for coming out uh, today. Um, so, as a high school teacher, you must appreciate that we need things for our, you, you know teenage kids to be doing. We need community centres. We need Absolutely. library branches. We, we need rec centres. We need things to Absolutely. keep them off the streets. When they're on the street, they're doing things they shouldn't be doing, which actually would cost us more money. Would you agree Ab with that? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, you know, there's been some improvements. You know, over the years, I've been in the system for 34 years, and I've seen things like they've moved in psychologists, social workers to, to work with the kids. Uh, it's super stuff. This breakfast program, I think that the woman was talking about, at places like Birchmount Collegiate. You know, I, I teach in the uh, Scarborough system. Uh, it's absolutely needed, absolutely necessary. Um, would you also uh, have a problem if we were asking all our city volunteers to maintain our sports fields? Do you think that might get a little dangerous I, for kids? Mm, I don't think that would work, right? No. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's, you. that's one minute. Thank you. Any other questions? Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Karen Lior. Or Lior, sorry. I apologize. Thank you for the correction. Three minutes, go ahead. I'm Karen Lior. I'm the Executive Director of the Toronto Workforce Innovation Group. I'm here to speak about the assessment aspect of the employment services managed and delivered by the City of Toronto, which is one of the areas discussed in the KPMG report on pages 18 to 24. 
My organization is one of 25 groups funded by the Provincial Ministry of Training Colleges and Universities to identify and address the employment training issues and opportunities in our local areas. So first, I'd like to point out some of the misleading statements about the delivery of employment services by private organizations in the U.S. and other parts of Canada that are noted in the KPMG report. And second, I'll talk about why it's important to keep Toronto's employment services managed and delivered by public servants. The KPMG report notes that most cities provide employment services at a city level and goes on to say, in Philadelphia, they are provided by a private organization. The private organization in Philadelphia, as well as those in Chicago and in Boston, also discussed in the KPMG report, is actually the Philadelphia Workforce Investment Board, the Chicago Workforce Investment Board, or the Boston Workforce Investment Board, which are part of a federal framework in the U.S. that's governed by legislation, the Workforce Investment Act of 1998, that transfers funds to the cities through the, through the states for local labor market planning. They aren't private organizations. They're mostly not-for-profits run at arm's length from the cities. The U.S. legislation calls for these groups to be composed of key stakeholders in the local economy, with a minimum of 51 percent business representatives. All of the examples cited in the KPMG report are organizations or agencies that are made up of a cross-section of stakeholders, including business, labor, nonprofit delivery agencies, labor market intermediaries, and educational institutions. If you want more, under, more information about that, we have a great report on our website called Planning to Succeed, Integrated Approaches to Local Labor Market Planning from the U.S. and Europe. The KPMG report also cites Montreal and Boston as delivering these services through an arm's length arrangement or private organization. Again, not quite the case. Montreal has a multi-partite group that oversees employment service delivery, and Quebec has a 1% training tax. Employers who expend less than 1% of payroll on training and development have to contribute to a shared pool of funds that is used to support training and education delivery. Those funds are managed, again, by a multi-partite stakeholder group. Following the recommendations made in the KPMG report about using a private organization to deliver employment services would be done without a full understanding of how this is managed in either the U.S. or in Quebec. Thank there. you very much. Councillor Perks, one minute, ask questions. I want to make sure that I understood this because this is critical. You're telling me in all of the examples that KPMG cited for private delivery of employment services, it is actually publicly delivered. I'm telling you that in all the examples that KPMG cited, they're all legislated bodies that are accountable to the public for the funds through extensive, extensive consultations on a regular basis, both in, internal and external. Would that be similar, say, to the way that we, we own Toronto Hydro, it's arm's length, and it reports to the Ontario Energy Board? It would be similar, except for the extensive consultation and review process that goes on. Well, I've, I've been to an OEB hearing, so I understand what you mean when you say that. So, given that we have paid $350,000 to get thoroughly misleading advice, would you suggest to this council that we not pay that check? Councillor per um, Councillor Layton, you're up. Councillor Layton, you're up. This just very quickly, I it, because we've been we've been through here a couple of times, where some jurisdictional example sections are completely blank. This one has three sentences, and it, actually it has five pages. But well, but but in the jurisdictional examples for what you're you're speaking about, there's three sentences of of actual information for us. It in that. It, are you saying that, that that in fact is not only incomplete is in fact false? I'm saying that inaccurate. Part, that I'm saying that it's it. incomplete, and it's important to understand the context of the way these services delivered in the other jurisdictions yeah. when you're making a decision about how to use public funds. Yeah. And perhaps that the statement there may be some savings uh, associated with it, which is how KPMG worded it, uh, th 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 that might be questionable at best. There's no research that shows... No, sorry, that's it. That's one minute. <laughs> Councillor Wong Cam. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. Um, Karen, thank you for the deputation. Considering the flaws in the KPMG uh, framework and their recommendations that came forward, um, 
very quickly, I, within less than four, um, 40 seconds, uh, what would we do? Be, what should we be doing differently to ensure that Toronto has a proper la labor market um, uh, strategy? I think that what we could do differently would be to engage all the stakeholders in a very um, consultative process to figure out what our labor market needs. The city's economic development department talks about the hourglass economy and how to change that dynamic. I think it's important, Michael Thompson's um, committee itself is talking about that. I think it's important to consider how to do that through a widespread examination and by bringing people with expertise and energy together. And can you help us lead those discussions? I would be happy to do so. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Karen, you said there was no research that demonstrates what? There's no research that demonstrates that you save anything by delivering public funds through private services. Thank you very much. Okay, that's it. Okay. Thank, thank you very much. You.